Hello friends and welcome back. Today I wanted to do a short video um, just to basically have a chat with you, um, a little life update um, and a little bit of um, where I'm going with this channel, what's what's going on. You, you'll probably have noticed that I haven't uploaded as much as I usually do recently and there's a few reasons for this. So let's get into it. If a sort of chatty sort of life update video is not really your thing feel free to skip this video and I'll see you in the next one. But for those who want to know a little bit more about what's been going on and how and wh why things are going to be changing on the channel then this is a video for you. So um, I've had a few questions recently about you know asking where am I, when's my next video due, that kind of thing. Um, and I just wanted to give you a bit of backstory and a bit of um, context, really. So um, last year, when we were um, last year we to our um, our vacation to Disney World, I found out while we were there that my mum um, had um, cancer and she was in the hospital, and they were going to have to operate to remove part of her intestines. It was really, really, really difficult. Um, um, Mom had surgery in the beginning of January. I was supposed to go back to work on the I think, 2nd or 3rd of January and she was due to have surgery that day. Now surgery is a big deal for my mum because she is a chronic heart patient and the doctors basically weren't, they weren't sure she was going to make it. Um, I was besides myself, I couldn't go to work that day because I was just waiting for news to find out how she was getting on and I'm glad to say that she survived. Um, she had a portion of her um, intestines removed and currently there is no cancer left they have done tests um, and she has made an amazing recovery they cannot find cancer in her body but they are they have referred her for um, preventative um, I don't know if it's radio or chemo I, I can't remember um, but she is glad to be alive um, and we are just grateful that she's still with us. Um, around about the same time I found out that my husband is type 2 diabetic which was a massive, um, just felt like everything was pretty rotten at the time. Um, it was middle of winter, um, I was struggling um, because I struggle with seasonal um, seasonal affective disorder <sighs> so oh gosh I was struggling with seasonal affective disorder um, and a few um, health issues of my own because I have been um, I have been going through the change of life, for started with perimenopause, so things have been just a bit crap <laughs> um, in the last few months. Um, oh gosh. What with everything going on, I just... I felt like I was in a really dark place. Um, the last couple of weeks I've started to feel like I am progressing out of that place. Um, and I'm starting to feel a bit better. It was really hard just trying to put on a happy face for the videos or to try and, you know, boost myself up so that I could film and 
a lot of things I enjoyed just sort of fell by the wayside and I realized that I just needed I just needed to give myself some space, give myself some time to just breathe and to work my way through what I was going through. Um, looking back on the year last year and looking back on how I've managed and how I have um, how I have kind of gotten through things, I feel like I kind of go, go, go like a crazy person for weeks and weeks on end until I feel so exhausted that I don't really know how to get on. Um, and then I kind of, you know, stick with this exhausted patch for a few weeks, you know, try and give myself some self care and until I'm feeling a bit better. And then I kind of go, go, go again. So. I've kind of realized that this is what I tend to do and I've and I've realized that that is not something that I really want to continue doing so it's something that I need to work on so that I don't get to the point where I feel exhausted and I feel like I need to completely take a step back from so much enjoyment in my life in order to um, recuperate enough to be able to go 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 again if that makes any sense. I also, in this period of kind of, um, let's just call it recuperating, in this kind of period where I've been recuperating from just everything life has thrown at me, you know, feeling a bit, a bit miserable over the winter season, um, feeling just exhausted and burnt out, really. Um, I've kind of realised that... I have fallen, I had fallen so, so deep into the comparison trap. <sighs> I've been comparing myself to others and making myself feel so worried and like I'm not good enough. Like, why am I, why am I making YouTube videos? They aren't like so-and-so's videos or they aren't um, super duper um, cozy or that you I'm not chatty enough or I'm not um, I'm not quiet enough in my videos and every video I did was just so racked with self-doubt and with just so much inner turmoil that I just felt like I've been feeling like I don't enjoy it anymore there's so many sort of um, things I wanted to do on YouTube but I was like oh nobody will enjoy that nobody will watch that nobody wants to see that and I've just realized that I started to because I had that thinking and because I had that those thoughts and those doubts and those concerns I kind of felt like my inspiration really just dried up with YouTube and I and I started to feel like should I be doing this anymore is this is this something I love and I realized, yes, that is something I love when I'm sharing what I love. And it is something I enjoy when I'm making the kinds of videos that mean something to me, that are interesting to me. And that there must be other people out there who will enjoy the content that I'm creating because those are the kind of things they love too. I guess I kind of needed to realize that I needed to share what inspires me and the people that are attracted to that content will come to me, will come to my channel and it will be, it will be what it will be. I just need to go back to enjoying myself with it and enjoying sharing the things that I love and the things that inspire me, books, music. Um, seasonal living recipes and mum life and Christmas and those kinds of things so I wanted to I wanted to say sorry to anybody who came to my channel thinking or feeling that I or my channel was about certain things only um, 
you know, like shopping videos and things like that. Yes, I enjoy shopping as much as the next person, but my channel's not going to be about just going shopping and showing you what's in the shops. Um, those videos get a lot of views, which is great. Um, my channel needed it. But yes, I will show you things that I enjoy, things that I like, things that I picked up that were wonderful, but it's not gonna it's not only a shopping channel. It's it's about living and life and enjoyment and about inspiration and about enjoying the seasons and the nature in England and all those lovely things that I love that I want to share with you. So going forward, I am going to work on consistently getting out two videos a month. I work full time. I'm, um, I'm a housekeeper in my own home. I don't have um, outside help. Um, and I'm a mum as well. I'm going through, like I said, some health issues with perimenopause and I just feel like I can safely say that I can commit to two good videos a month. There may be periods where I do three videos a month, four videos a month. There may be some shorts, but know that you can you can expect two videos from this channel a month. They may be slightly longer videos, um, but that is what I'm going to aim to put out. And if there were more videos, that is a bonus. So um, I just wanted to really thank you all for being here with me on this journey and for your support and your comments and the lovely things that you say and the way you interact with the channel because it makes it feel worthwhile just to hear people say oh what a lovely video I really enjoyed that or oh where did you get that product from or just anything that little comments that you leave on the channel it's just so heartwarming and it really really helps you know helps to make me feel like what I'm doing is something that is worthwhile to you and I just wanted to thank you all for being on this journey with me and thank you for your comments, your likes, your subscriptions and things like that. It just, it makes a difference to the channel, but it just, it really touches my heart. And I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, I just wanted to share this all with you because I wanted you to see that YouTubers and YouTube is not perfect. It, it seems like a perfect world where everything is perfectly curated and everything is, you know, flows perfectly and, and timelessly. But it, in reality, life is not really like that. So I just wanted you to know what is going to be happening going forward, what you can expect from my channel, and also um, to give you a little bit of an update on why things have been a bit sporadic and what you can expect going forward. Um, and I think I've rambled enough, so I am going to go. I've got this weekend, my husband is away, so my daughter and I are spending the day today. Um, we're gonna go out to do some thrifting at the charity shop. She's getting her hair cut, and uh, we're gonna go and have some lunch. So it's just gonna be a nice little girl's day out. But I just wanted to thank you for watching and um, if you stayed this, this far, thanks for listening to my rambling. Um, I'll see you in the next video, friends. Bye-bye now.